In this video, I'm going to show you some magical tricks in Adobe Premiere Pro that may seem small, but I'm sure they'll be incredibly helpful. These tips will save you a lot of time and make your workflow much faster and easier. So let's get started. Trick number one, real size format. First, create a new project. Give it a name and save it to your desired location. Now this is the main interface of Premiere Pro. To create a sequence, there are three different methods. Right click in the project panel, go to new item, choose sequence. Go to file new sequence or simply press the shortcut key Control plus N. Choose whichever method is easiest for you. Now right-click and create a new sequence. You'll see multiple tabs like Sequence Presets, Settings, Tracks, and VR Video. Go to the Settings tab. Set Editing Mode to Custom. Choose your frame rate, either 29.97 or 25 FPS. I'll use 25 frames per second here. Next is the frame size. Set Horizontal to 1080. Set Vertical to 1920. And there you go, this is the standard 916 real size. Leave the preview file format as QuickTime, that's fine. For codec, you can choose based on your needs, like Apple ProRes 422 or ProRes 422 HQ. Hit OK, and now your vertical real timeline is ready. Go ahead and import any vertical video or image. Drag it to the timeline. Now right-click to video and hit scale to frame size. That's it. Your video is now perfectly set for real format. Start editing and enjoy the process. Trick number two, split screen. I've already added two clips to the timeline and stacked them, one on top of the other. Select the top clip, go to the effects panel, search for radial wipe and drag it onto the clip. Now copy the clip using Control plus C. Select the bottom clip and hit Alt plus V to paste only the effect. Select the top clip, go to effect controls and set. Transition completion, 50. Start angle, 50. Now select the bottom clip and set. Transition completion, 50. Start angle, 230. Select the pen tool, draw a line between the two clips. Go to essential graphics, turn on stroke, and adjust the line thickness to your liking. You've got a smooth dynamic split screen transition. Trick number three, finding lost audio. Here, I've got a project open and as you can see, one of my clips is missing audio in the timeline. This happens quite often, especially when working with multiple clips or complex edits. So what do we do? First, right-click on the video clip and choose Reveal in Project. This will locate the original media in your project panel. Once it's highlighted, double-click it to open it in the source monitor. Now here's a faster shortcut. If your clip is already on the timeline, just select it and press F. This opens that exact portion in the source monitor. Very useful for trimmed clips. At the bottom of the source monitor, you'll see tiny icons for video and audio. Simply click on the audio icon, then drag it to your timeline under your video layer. Boom. Problem solved, your audio is back. No more digging through folders or manually syncing anything. Trick number four, chroma key green screen removal. Let's talk about removing green or blue screens, whether it's from a video or an image. For example, here's an image of a monitor with a green screen. We want to replace that green area with something else. Go to the Effects panel and search for Key. You'll see options like Color Key, Track Matte Key, Ultra Key. I recommend using Ultra Key, just drag and drop it onto your green screen clip. Now go to the Effect Controls panel and use the eyedropper tool under Key Color to click on the green area. You'll see the green instantly disappear, clean and professional. Now let's add something behind the screen. Go to your project panel, create a new color mat, choose white or any background, and drag it to the timeline under the monitor layer. Done. You've just replaced the green screen in seconds. Trick number five, nest layer. Sometimes you'll have multiple layers on the timeline, like three clips stacked on top of each other for an effect or composition. Managing them separately can be messy. Here's a better way, select all related clips, right click and choose nest. Give your nest a name. Now they're combined into a single nested sequence, much cleaner. Want to edit something inside? Just double click the nest. It opens in its own timeline where you can make changes, like replacing text or tweaking a transition, and it'll update automatically in the main project. Nesting helps reduce clutter and gives you more control over grouped elements. So there you have it. These five simple tricks can save you hours of editing time and help you work smarter in Premiere Pro. If you found this helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave a comment below if you want part 2 with even more time-saving tricks. Thanks for watching.
This is Visual Nova, and I'll see you in the next tutorial.